Look, in return for copying a nine-month suspension from the Liberal Party room, Victorian MP Moira Deeming was supposed to get a statement from her leader to the effect that he didn't think that she was soft on extremism. This, remember, was all triggered because the Victorian opposition leader, John Pesuto, somehow holds Deeming responsible for the neo-Nazis that gatecrashed the women's right rally in Victoria 10 days ago. But instead of clearing Deeming and admitting that he overreacted to something that was never her fault, Pizzuto has spent the past 24 hours continuing to demonise this good Liberal woman and attempting to bully her into silence. Imagine the reaction if a Liberal leader proposed to expel someone for attending, say, a trans rights rally. But because Deeming thinks that women should not have to share change rooms and sporting fields with biological men, backed in now, of course, by the World Athletics Association and International Swimming, she's now on probation with heavy hints from the Liberal leader that she won't be allowed back in. This morning, Pizzuto was on the ABC, continuing to blacken her name. I will be carefully reviewing, as will all of my party room co colleagues, everything Moira says and does from here. And then this. She's got nine months to prove herself, and if she doesn't, she won't be re-entering the party room. Now, hang on right there. Pizzuto shows his inexperience as Liberal leader. Under the rules of a suspension, Deeming's return to the party room is automatic at the end of the nine months. It does not require another vote of the party room, as Pizzuto was forced to admit in the room yesterday amongst his MPs. The only way she doesn't return is if he moves another motion to expel her and that motion gets up. But given he was rolled yesterday, given he didn't have the votes to expel her, I can't see this happening. And neither can the vast majority of his colleagues, given his support as leader, is fast ebbing away. As you heard from me here last night, when I read to you some of what Deeming said in the party room, she's not anti-trans. She just wants women to get a fair go. Yesterday in her party room speech, she told fellow MPs that she was repeatedly raped as a four-year-old, which is why she's so determined to fight for women's spaces. And on the question of Nazi-like views, as someone, she said, who was raised by her Jewish uncle, a Holocaust survivor, she finds the accusations levelled at her abhorrent. Yet still, her leader is trying to fit her up as some kind of extremist as a way to burnish his own strongman credentials. And frankly, it's disgusting. Strong men, John Pizzuto, don't need to bully women. Strong men don't need to gag them either. Now, it's beyond wrong to me that Moira Deeming has not spoken to the media for two weeks now, ever since she was accused of being a Nazi sympathiser, instead holding her tongue to deal with the charges against her in the party room, amongst her colleagues, and not through the media. But all last week, Pizzuto has run this through the media. And yesterday, too, since the party room, he's done a doorstop interview, he's done 3AW's Tom Elliott, he's done the ABC 7.30 report, he's been on Sky this morning, ABC Breakfast, ABC's Radio National 2, and more. Deeming said to me she wasn't keen to do any media on this, even after the result this week, because she thought that would jeopardise the upcoming Aston by-election on Saturday. But clearly John Pizzuto doesn't care. He's knocking himself out with wall-to-wall -wall media, trying to make Deeming some sort of villain. Now, maybe, as a Liberal moderate, one insider said this to me today, Pizzuto wants a Liberal loss on the weekend, given Peter Dutton, who's a Conservative, will have to wear it. But in the end, that's self-defeating. Because, again, colleagues say it's Pizzuto that's dead man walking, because if defending women's rights is somehow incompatible with ongoing membership of the Liberal Party, the Victorian Libs are in diabolical trouble, as if they aren't already. I mean, out of office, everywhere in mainland Australia, and increasingly enthralled to the ideology of the left, as even former PM Tony Abbott said last night, under people like Pizzuto, the Liberal Party could be close to an existential crisis. I think there's a pretty clear, clear lesson. It's the, it's the four L's lesson, uh, labour, light, 
liberals lose. And the Liberal Party has got to stand for something uh, and it's got to take its members seriously. Given the last Liberal landslide was Tony Abbott's, the party would be wise to listen.